Welcome to another match for the Joust in this one. In Ancient Spires, we've got the Butter playing as the English, going for a very, very standard land opening uh, as the Purple. And on the other side, we have Amareth playing as the HRE, going for water and using a dock as well. So that's something I, I like seeing. They're going now for a house, so not even going for a lumber camp yet. That's just how all tight uh, things are. Uh, if you go for a water build. Um, but usually it used to be two fishing ships. I don't know if the match changed here. Two fishing ships will clear this out quickly. Uh, any more fishing ships feels like an overinvestment. Um, yeah, on the other hand, Butter, I think, has 7 on food. Yeah, he's gonna get his 3 on gold there. So, everything very standard. Nothing crazy. Amarath still with 5 on wood. No, he's got uh, 6 on wood. Ah, so he just sent everybody in. That's fair. Usually the, the Dock Villager stays on Shoreline Fish. But that's not... That's usually... That's usually... And I think he stays there just for... The convenience of being able to build more stuff. Uh, now Amorath does run the risk of being... No, he's not going to be Amorath. He doesn't have the 40 food yet. That's by design. So what's going to happen here is that Butter is going to be able to age up much faster. So the age up should be at around the 4 minute mark. Like 4 to 4.30 should be... It could place the thing earlier, but 4 to 4.30 is going to be the age of time, and Amareth should be between 5 and 5.30. So that's like six longbowmen that you're going to have in your face. That's that's too many fishing boats. They're going to clear this way too fast, and they're going to... This might be an overinvestment. But uh, this stock is perfect for Amareth as well. There we go, Council Hall with three villagers. Three villagers seems to be a bit of a norm now. <clears throat> okay, there we go, the fourth villager is rushing it a little bit. Because, dude, as English, you really need to have a very good economy starting Fiddle Age. Because you don't want to be idle in your TC or your Council Hall. Because you keep that aggression up as much as you can. Okay, there we go, Amarath taking his sheep uh, back home. And uh, I wonder where the Aachen goes to, because this is a good place for an Aachen as well. Right, he, he has access to the northern trees here, and also to the stone if he wants to go second PC. Here, obviously, we have access to the gold and this wood line, and potentially, if you stretch it, it might even have access to the deer. Amorath could be a bit of a, a bit of a, a genius in go mine work. Okay, four fishing ships seem to be the limit there for Amorath. Amorath needs to go to gold now. And there he is with four villagers on gold. He's not going to need all of this wood now, so... For sure he has to consider getting a dock here. There we go. Amareth getting a dock. Is here the best spot? I don't think you eliminate any of the shoreline fish. And oh, there we go. 4... 4 11... 4 13. Okay, that's not a bad age of time. And we're getting a Rax as well, so this is gonna be Men at Arms Longbowman, right? Oh, Spearman. I they're going with Spearman and Longbowman. Both of them okay, but not great at dealing with men at arms. Uh, yeah, okay, so the spearmen get hard countered by the men at arms, but um, they can provide a nice little tank for the longbowmen to do their thing. Don't forget that all the men at arms don't have that much armor. They have three armor. Butter can get seven attack, seven range attack on the longbowmen. So it's definitely something there. Ooh, and he's gonna come in right at the second dock. Amarath needs that age up. Where's the age up, Amarath? There he is. Mindwerk! There we go. Feels like he doesn't need the eco boost, but there's a longbowman in the meantime. 
It's gonna be starting to take the dock down. And by starting to take the dock, it's starting to take uh, the fish off. There's gonna be a tower by Butter in the northern dock. <clears throat> so the tower will get the fish, but also gets the, the, the attack speed buff on the English units. Uh, and it's crazy to me, like, how Butter just didn't even scout the dock, but that's what Amareth did anyway. Oh, that's, oh, that was great for Amaroth, but this is not. Okay, okay, Amaroth has all the gold he needs, he just needs uh, the speed, and he needs wood to get the... Oh, he needs a barracks. He needs a, a very fast barracks. So there's a spear on the fishing boat, the long woman as well, so the fish is there. And with the tower as well, doesn't bode well. There's, there's a nice, I love this barracks. So there's gonna be no gold for Amarath, so... Oh, there we go, Amarath! Oh, he starves one, he might need to go into... F into fishing... Sh into fighting ships? Oh, he could've garrisoned... Oh, killing the spears, killing units is gonna be... So difficult. So now these men-at-arms, they... They are good against these units. But we're getting double barracks and we have no gold at our disposal when we went mine work. Okay, we're getting the two tags. That's not bad, Amaras, but what's the plan going he uh, here? Three men at arms, they still cost 20 gold. They still cost 20 gold and... We're getting killed. Ooh, that... Ah, I don't think that tower is worth it. Ah, it might be. Not with the men at arms, it might be. So, the men at arms is three ranged armor. Long Bowman's have a 6 attack. The tower, though, is dangerous. You don't want to leave your men at arms there. Okay, I like the. The tower does go up. Um, this attack is so ridiculous. <laughs> so we're getting marching drills now, so we already got uh, the other attack. Range armor attack. There we go. There's a defensive outpost together with the offensive outpost from Butter. And Amarath is starting to get stuck in his own base. So that's the risk of going water, really. Uh, uh, the healing is just not fast enough, but it's gonna be fast enough to not really lose too many units. Oh, what's... Ah, uh, he's trying to get to that gold Amaraf, but he's walking right through everything. Hey, okay, perfect, perfect. The, the tower will have done its job here. Oh, and the tower is gonna get the villagers, so... Oh, that's a huge, massive win! Now Amarath can start getting some uh, some horsemen. Horsemen and men-at-arms will certainly do the trick here. But Amarath might be... imminently trying to get back into the game. The villager kills are important, obviously, but... not as important as one might think. Amarath needs... Oh, this longbowman is walking right into his death. Amarath has some good micro of his uh, villagers right there. So he decided to go to horsemen and said, horsemen? Powerful, of course. Yeah, but all of that investment in water, he now only has one fishing ship alive. Get a three in the stock. Okay, Amarath is gonna have access to gold now. Ooh, the wolf killed the villagers. Ah. Okay, not good for Amarath here. Not good for Amarath. Better in the driver's seat. Yeah, now... Okay, there we go. Amarath with his horsemen out. Amarath by, might be on the imminent of fighting this back. Because I think Butter just tried to get his units all in one place. Ooh, and if... Yeah, okay, so the southern pond is now under threat. Ooh, and Amarath... Oh, Butter doesn't know about that, but Amarath is losing his units to the wolf. Ah, I know the feeling, buddy. I know the feeling. It sucks. It sucks to see your... Um, see your resources all of a sudden, no villagers. 
One one villager has died, you need to kill the wolf. Okay, now on the stone, I'm trying to get our slits up. But the villager is gonna die and Yeah, Bamber is just taking away um Amrath's units here, and this is exactly why you build the um, you build spearmen. There, well, there's a men at arms here, and these vanguard men at arms are not awful when dealing with the horsemen. Of course, if you're Amrath, you want to deal with the, with the men at arms with your own horsemen and your own men at arms, having an hybrid arm, uh, army that way. But um, this is a lot of pressure and. Amorath just doesn't have the food. Goes into water, loses the fight. Ooh, that healing was would be important, and he's getting the heals. I think your units is just added value. And, ah, the only solution here for Amorath is if he can somehow sneak into this pond and this pond. This pond it's easy to sneak into, and I don't think. Uh, Butter will do anything. But, uh, by now we have a game. I don't think the game is at reach. That that fight with the horsemen there needed to have gone so differently. Because now MRF has no food. It's 12 villagers on food. is on 300 a minute. And uh, look at Butter's base. Look at that. So many farms already. Okay, at least the horsemen will be able to get the, the longbowmen. We are back at default damages here because everybody has their upgrades. Getting wheelbarrow, horticulture, I like the thought process. You also need the... Uh, there's no way, but the spearman is gonna die. 41 to 20 villagers. This tower is about... I... We'll just deal good damage, but not that much damage. Oh, good pull! The scout is about to go down. Of course, it uh, that to get into that volley. In e repairs. There we go. Another long woman died, but uh, Amarath needs all the help he can get here. That's pretty good. So he... still another minute until he has emergency repairs again. Ooh, pullback! There we go, that's a good pullback. There goes the ram. Village, ooh, village is getting killed. Is Am oh, Amarath's not producing any army! No, he is! He's producing men-at-arms. Men-at-arms with four ranged armor. If you can get, like, ten men-at-arms here, like, it's good enough to clear shit. But Amarath... Oh, he's getting... Oh, that tower's... Oh, no! You're gonna lose so many villagers! Already without villagers? And he's about to lose even more, and there goes another ram! Ah, Famorath could, get a, could hold on to his economy! Yeah, but that's that's why you rush like this, if you're, if you're buttered, that's why you rush like this, right? Okay, that's cleared! Let's go! Clear the side. The problem now is that Butter is relatively close to Castle Age. Amrath, it couldn't be further away, right? He's, he does have the gold, no food. He, he would have to rebuild his fleet. There's still all of this fish to be had, and almost all here. And I think, yeah, there's emergency repairs back. Emergency E repairs, come on! Ah, oh, the tower goes down. Now those villagers die. Amarath in hot water. This side is clear though. The butler isn't coming back. So men at arms are tough cookies, and we're getting more fishing ships. I like that. Yeah, if Amarath could. Oh, imagine Amarath sneaking a dock here. He can get to the second DC. Yeah, so butler second DC. Amarath is on one TC under. Huge duress. He's got like the dock is important. Where are the villagers doing nothing right there? Where's, oh, Amrath going to these parries. The army's right there. Ah, oh, they, they need to be on wood and they need to be rebuilding that fleet. I think that's his way back. But the 
Comment what you think Amarath could do to come back from the, this pickle. Yeah, and uh, Mother sees that. Probably understands that uh, there's no uh, nothing for Amarath to hold on to, and Amarath will just lose all. All these are basically all of his villagers, right? These villagers plus these three. That's ugly, and now arrow slits. Oh no! Arrow slits on the tower by the lake, so. Even that's a threat. The army needs to do something. No, 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 don't lead them to your other villagers. Okay, they can run. They can run. You can bring them back to the TC now. And Amarath, I think, realizes the pickle that he's in and just taps out. Yeah, interesting, interesting game here. Where we have... Or water this time didn't pay off. Usually does. Didn't this time. Got hit way too early. 